Okay. So just so people know, you reached out to me, obviously. I just want to know. I didn't reach out to you. So yeah. what type of Muslim are you so people don't understand? Uh, Sunni Muslim. Okay. Well, that's the first step. That's good. Usually it's, well, I'm Muslim. Oh, we know. But so are you Salafi or Ashari? Uh, Ashari. So. Oh, you're Ashari. 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 Okay, that's good. So you follow the Ashari creed. That's good. That's uh, interesting. Now, define Tawheed for everyone. Belief in the oneness of God. Okay. And give us the three subsets, which you did not do. Give us the three subsets. I'm not sure about the three subsets. But you said you follow the Athari Creed. Yeah, but I'm not uh, I'm not uh, advanced in my knowledge. So my young friend, just so people know, I don't look out for these Muslims to debate me, but you reached out to me. So if you do not know much, then why do you want to have a discussion with me? Well, I just want to see what you have to offer. I'm, I'm curious. Why? Why? Curiosity killed the cat. And satisfaction brought it back. All right, well, typically if you follow the Athari Creed, what people would call themselves... Those who follow the Salaf Asale, I like Arabic, by the way, I'm not making fun. You are taught, and that's, I don't know about you, but they're taught that there are three categories, subsets of Tawheed. There's Tawheed al rububiya You heard that? Yeah, I've heard of this. Yeah. Okay, so and you've heard also of Tawheed al ibada or Tawheed al uluhiya right? Yes. And then you've heard of Tawheed al asma wa Sifat. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to define terms for people. This group, what we would call Salafis, they don't like to be called Wahhabis. They don't follow Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. They break down the oneness of Allah into three categories, subsets. Tawheed al rububiya that Allah is the sole, sovereign, Lord, sustainer of creation. Tawheed al uluhiya Tawheed al ibada that Allah, <clears throat> He alone is worthy to be worshipped. He alone is to be worshipped. Tawheed al-Asma wa Safat. Asma means name, Safat means characteristics. That Allah possesses names and characteristics that He alone possesses in their fullness, perfection, and cannot be ascribed to a creature. So it's basically what He's supposed to believe. So this is the thing. So the debate is between Tawheed and the Trinity. So as if someone who follows the Athari Creed, what did they teach you about the Quran? The Quran is not created. Very direct. See, I can I can deal with people who are respectful and can answer questions directly. So it's the uncreated speech of Allah. All right. Now, what have they taught you about the spirit? What do you mean the spirit? Well, in the Quran, there's reference to Ruh, the spirit, Ruh al alamin the faithful spirit, Ruh al-Qudus. According to the Muslims that you have studied, who or what is that spirit? I'm assuming you're referring to the angel Gabriel. That's what I thought. Okay, now that's what I wanted you to say. Now, since you believe that Allah is absolutely one, not just in his essence, names and characteristics, but we would say, just so people understand what you mean by Allah is one, that he's one person, even though the term person is not used. And you believe the Quran is uncreated and you believe the spirit is Gabriel. Okay, so can you show me in your Quran where Gabriel is said to be the spirit, the Holy Spirit, the faithful spirit? Not where you think it applies it. I'm not asking for... What you think suggests that Gabriel is the spirit? Uh, I'm not Quran only. We use that. Uh, I'll well. give you ten million dollars if you show me in Bukhari, which I like how you ducked and tailed because I'm going to show you the Quran says it explains everything. Show me from the Sahih narrations where your prophet said Gabriel is the Holy Spirit. Okay, can I just can I just say something? Will you let me speak just for a minute? What happened? You can't answer questions already. Or no, I, I, I will. I'll like just say something. Sympathy? Okay. So before any discussion, right, you give a person a topic and you allow him to prepare for this topic. You don't just ask, uh, like... Are you whining like Aisha did when... I Muhammad haven't, I haven't did memorized the entirety well, of the thing. Are you whining like Aisha did when Muhammad at 54 came and penetrated her while she's playing with dolls? You see, now you're sounding like a Mohammedan jihadi terrorist. Do you say that to those Christians that you confront? Hey, have you prepared for the topic? Yeah, I've been muta. You just contacted me and I said we're going to talk about Tawheed. So I'm going to give you another chance to defend your prophet who's under the feet of Jesus burning in hell. You ready or I'm going to send you to Mecca? Okay, we know you Muslims get scared. So can you show me the verse in the Quran or in the Hadith where it says Gabriel's the spirit? Let's see if you're going to whine like Aisha so I can send you to Mecca. Can you show it to me? Well, okay, but I haven't memorized the entire Quran. How would so, I? You contacted you me. My head. So I, just want people to know. You I contacted didn't contact you. Okay. 
He didn't contact me on this topic. He just said that he wanted to know if I'm the one who discusses. So I said, yes, and we're going to go live. He didn't say, give me time to prepare. So now let's see what a coward he is. So what did you want to discuss if I brought you up? Let's see. No, look, I, I wanted to ask, want to, discuss, I wanted to ask you right. what topic do you want to agree on? And, and I then, just said Tawheed, Like right? a debate, right? Like a normal debate. Okay. You said Tawheed, Tawheed after you already decided yourself. Tawheed, you asked me, listen, I know being only like your prophet. Did you hear yourself? You asked me what topic I said Tawheed. Did you see? We got your recording. You just said, you asked me what topic you want to discuss. I said Tawheed. So right, right now you said Tawheed. Like Aisha. Do you have dolls like Aisha did? Are we going to get to the topic or I have to send you to Mecca? Which is no, but right now you said Tawheed, not before uh, we, our discussion. But listen, Ibn Muta, you asked me that when we go live, what would I like to talk about? I said Tawheed. So I said, get ready. I'm going to leave this here so people can see what cowards these Muslims are. They are only tough when they deal with Christians who don't know scripture. Do they give that same courtesy to Christians when they meet Christians on the street who don't know much? Do they tell them, hey, uh, go prepare?